I've just finished a consultation with a client who owns an original Skytrack, but is struggling to get it connected with GS Pro. And this is not the first time I've been asked this question. Now I did do a GS Pro and Skytrack connection video a few years ago, but that's a little bit outdated now. So I thought it's about time that I did an updated one to show anyone that owns an original Skytrack exactly how to get it connected to GS Pro. Now, the first thing that we need to do is we need to make sure that you have got the Skytrack app downloaded and you have already purchased GS Pro. Now, if you're not too familiar with GS Pro, it is by far the best third party golf course simulation software out there. And it's well worth its $250 a year price tag. Now, the first thing that you need to do is join the Simulator Golf Tour Discord group. And to do that, just head over to the Discord website and open it in your browser. You don't need to download it unless you have done already. And we're gonna head over to SGT Simulator Golf Tour. Then what we need to do is scroll down this left-hand side to where it says Skytrack Connection Help, which is this little section here. Now, once you are in this section, here are some instructions about exactly how to download um, this connection software, but that's a lot for you to read. I'm gonna make it simple, right? There's actually a new updated version of this connector right down at the bottom from Bull Pride Mike. All you're gonna do is click on that. You're gonna to continue to download it. And once it has downloaded, all you need to do is open it up. And if you get this screen, just press more info and run anyway. We're gonna press yes. And here it actually details all of the updates of this new connector, this 1.98 connector. And it's actually really, really helpful because with the previous connector, I don't know if anybody else has experienced this, but when the club that was selected on GS Pro was a lob wedge, it automatically put the Skytrack into chipping mode. So even if you were 70 yards out and you're hitting a full lob wedge, the shot wouldn't register and it was extremely frustrating. However, that's now changed with this update. Anyway, all you need to do, press next. You're gonna press next again. This is important, create a desktop shortcut that makes it easier for you later on. And we're gonna install the 1.98 connector. Now, it's gonna ask you about Microsoft runtime, either install it or if you've already got it installed, repair it. You're gonna close that once it has installed and the same with the Visual C++ 2012 thing, either install it or repair it if you've already got it installed. It doesn't take long this bit. And we're gonna close that. We're gonna press next. And we don't need to view the readme file. And we're gonna finish it. Okay, now what you should see is this Skytrack picture with GS Pro wrote on the screen of it, okay? That is going to be your connector. So we've installed it. Now how do we connect it to GS Pro? Now, like I said earlier, I'm presuming you've already subscribed and paid for GS Pro. So you just load up the GS Pro app and it's important that when you've purchased GS Pro, the license that you've got is the open API license, okay? Now, if, you're not, if, if you don't see this option, then just click on change license type. It comes up with your license here and you can switch it to whichever one you want. But for Skytrack original, you need the open API. So we're gonna turn on our Skytrack, okay? Now, whether you have got it connected in network mode or direct mode or hooked up to USB mode, it doesn't really matter. Just load it up. I've actually got it connected to network mode, so it should be quite a seamless connection for us here, hopefully. And then I'm gonna press on open API. So this then brings up the API for the connector. Now, right now, GS Pro is waiting for that download that you did earlier to be opened up and connect the Skytrack launch monitor. So all we need to do is go back to our main screen. And here's a little tip, actually. I'm gonna right click on my Skytrack and GS Pro and I'm gonna pin it to 
the taskbar down at the bottom, right? That just makes it a lot easier because let me show you, if we go back to GS Pro, then my taskbar is visible at the bottom. So when I'm on this screen, I can just press my little SkyTrack connector down there. And have you noticed how that bar at the top of the GS Pro connector just turned green, that bar there. It went from red to green. Now what it's done, this window that it's just brought up is our SkyTrack and GS Pro connector. It's discovered our SkyTrack launch monitor and it's now connected it to GS Pro. So once we've done that, we can just click off those two, leave them both open, but just click away from them. We're into GS Pro. Now let's load up a brand new Georgia golf club, shall we? So once you've done that, your SkyTrack is now connected to GS Pro and you should be able to hit away and get all your shots to register on this amazing simulator software. But I'm loading up Georgia Golf Club because it's a brand new version by TechBud and it looks amazing, by the way. And I'm gonna take you to hole 16, the famous par three. I'll probably put it in the water. So we've got loaded up the stunning Georgia Golf Club hole 16. Unfortunately, I've not put the pin in that lovely little position that you can, you can potentially get a hole in one on. It's over, stuck over there on the right side. There's no way that I'm gonna get a hole in one on here. But you should notice that your SkyTrax laser is now there visible for you to use. And uh, let's see if we can stick this close. It's gonna take a good shot, I'm telling you. Oh. It's not gonna be anywhere near the pin, but the most important part is SkyTrack is now connected to GS Pro. We're registered and good to go. If you're struggling with anything to do with golf simulators, check out the links in the description below where I've got links to my ebook, my online course, and how to have a one-to-one -one consultation with me, and how hopefully be able to solve any problems that you might have.